Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today I'm going to show you how to make these old yellowing oxidized headlights clear again. So a lot of the damage here is done on the outside of the headlight. You could feel it, it's not smooth, it's all pitted, which indicates that it can be polished out. On my truck, you could see this is also yellowing, but it's actually yellowing from the inside. This is nice and smooth, and it's pretty clean on the outside. So I wouldn't be able to do this trick on a headlight like this. If you didn't see my other video, you should check that one out first. The other video shows you how to use toothpaste to get a nice and clear headlight finish. To get to that video, you can click on the link in the description below. If that method doesn't work for you, then stay tuned and definitely try this method in this video. If you can't get the headlight clear using this method that I'm about to show you, then you need new headlights. For this method, we're going to use three different grits of sandpaper, 400 to start, then 600, then 2000. The lower the number, the more abrasive the sandpaper. We're also going to use some warm water, and make sure your headlight is clean before you start this. The first step is to get the headlights soaking wet. Now you're going to get your piece of sandpaper. If you feel like you're going to get close to your paint, you could tape off your paint. I'm going to use controlled circles so it shouldn't be a problem. The other thing is my headlights have this rubber trim around it which will prevent me from getting onto the paint. Make sure you get your sandpaper soaking wet. You can see the water coming off the headlight as I sand it is really dirty. This is good because it means you're removing all the oxidation which makes the headlight hazy. I'm also keeping a flat surface on the headlight. I'm not trying to dig in or anything. I'm not going at an angle. Just nice and flat. After we're done with 400 grit, Wipe off your headlight. And now we're gonna inspect. And what you wanna see is a uniform haze. So it's not gonna look clear at all. It's actually, I mean, you can see, it looks really hazy. And that's good, but you want it to be uniform around the whole headlight. And this looks really good. You can also feel, it should feel kinda smooth. There might be a little bit of grittiness, but if there's a lot, then you wanna sand down that spot. So this is pretty good. So now we'll move to the next grit, 600. And again, we're doing wet sanding. So we're on 600 grit. Get our headlights soaking wet again. Get our sandpaper soaking wet. So after you get this grit done, wipe it off again to see what you have to work with. You can see it's still really foggy. The whole surface now should feel pretty smooth, which it does. And when it does, that means you can move on to your next grit. Next grit is 2000. If you have 1000, you could do 1000, then you could do 2000. It's up to you. Get your headlights soaking wet. Get your sandpaper soaking wet. With the 2000 grit, you might have to apply a little bit more pressure. After you think you're done, wipe it off. And now there's one last step. We're going to be using the same toothpaste trick as in the other video. This is like a compound, so if you have an automotive compound, you could use that too. Just get your toothpaste and rub it on here. It's going to be the same process as in the other video. I'm going to use my Dremel with a little buffing wheel on it. I have it on a low setting. Don't use a high setting. Because if you use a high setting, you're going to melt the plastic and just cause more damage. I have it on 15,000 RPMs. Okay, once you get that toothpaste buffed off, wipe it down, plenty of water. Oh yeah, look at those headlights. Now I'm gonna take some wax, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of wax, just like you're waxing a car. This will provide a protective coating. After the wax is drying just a little bit, and we can buff it off. And 
And there you go, look at that. These headlights look almost brand new. They look way better than before, and they're usable now, whereas before there was, it was almost dangerous to drive because almost no light was coming out. And we saved ourselves two headlights, which is a decent amount, especially on some cars. That could be two, three hundred dollars. Here's a before and after. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing. I publish how-to videos weekly and I answer all the questions and comments you guys leave in the comments section below. On the screen is going to be the link to the other video that I made, which will show you how to use toothpaste to get your headlight really clear. To get to that video, you could click on the screen or you could click on the link in the description below. And also in the description below are the links to the Chris Fix Facebook and Twitter pages. If you use Facebook or Twitter, go check it out.